Hello, welcome. Welcome, my name is Kate. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Hit the subscribe, like, share, do all the things. If you'd like to book a reading, the link is in the bio. And today I'd like to do a reading on Julie Albert. She is Chris Albert's wife. She is, she was a blonde that said like, Were you using Horton Proctor as an intermediary to communicate with Michael Proctor about this case? Objection. I'll allow it. No, I was not. On February 1st, 2022, three days after John O'Keefe was killed, there was another text message. And this one, Michael Proctor's sister texts Michael Proctor very specifically and writes the following, quote, just saw Julie and Julie said, when all this is over, she wants to give you, Michael Proctor, a thank you gift. Michael Proctor didn't respond with, that's inappropriate, these are witnesses, these are potential suspects. No, that's what he should have done. What he did do is he responded, get Elizabeth one, his wife. In other words, get the gift from my wife, it'll be a little less obvious. Instead of Buchanan, she said like, but Nick or something. I can't remember what she said, but it was hilarious. And I just want to see what her story is. What do we need to know about Julie Albert? I've already said sacred space and called in the quarters. And Hmm. Well, <laughs> if you're new and you're in the balcony or you're watching the cards version, I do read cards in reverse. I just don't read this deck in reverse and it happens to be my favorite deck. So we just go with it. Oh, hmm. Oh. What? We just literally got all of these cards, every single one of them. It was almost like I didn't shuffle them. Julie Albert, what's going on? Hmm. We literally, I just did Nicole Albert and we literally just got like every single one of these cards. Hmm. I had to read, or I did a reading and then we did two because I wasn't specific enough. So I just asked specifically, what does she need to tell us? All right, why don't we start with, <laughs> if you just watched the other one, this might be a little repetitive. Here's Jen McCabe. Here's Brian Higgins. Here's Daddy Warbucks, Brian Albert. Here is Morrissey. And that's it for archetypes. And these are just the birthdays that coincide, coincide with these cards. There's nothing, no, no facts here. I'm just a chick with the Dara deck. Please do your own research and that's it. Okay, the archetypes that we have here are Benifer. Here's Benifer. Nope. Here's Jen McCabe and Brian Albert. Here's Higgins and here's Michael Morrissey. We also, oh, I guess I didn't figure out what Chris Albert's birthday was, but we have the high priestess. She, she is your intuition, your best friend. She has shown up as the third wheel in a marriage before the Chris Watts case that we did. 
she was um, Nicole Kessinger. So we'll keep an eye on that. We do have lovers. I wonder. And we have the devil. We also have secrets that'll never come out. And we have the tower, which is like, to me, a tower moment is like 9-11. It's, it's like dropping an atomic bomb on your life. Um, these literally, like these 10 cards we just got for Nicole Albert too. We have that all the decision makers in the Ethan case and now this Karen Reed case always get this card. People are seeing between the lines. They can't sleep. Their story is unraveling. We have the overkill card. We have the fight card. We have the page running back and forth, giving the messages. We, I think, I don't know when Junior, Brian Junior's birthday is, but his energy reminds me of his mom, just like very honest. And, and I could be wrong, but that's what I got. And in the last reading, we got this, both of these nights, the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. The Pentacle, Knight of Pentacles could be, uh, Brian Albert is a Virgo. So he could be like, someone's, where did our page go? Here, no. Oh, here's our page. Our page is asking someone if they want to take a deal. And then the Knight is bringing the money if that's what's going on here, because they are making a decision. There's generational wealth here. Ten of Pentacles is like Prince Harry, <laughs> Prince of Montecito. That's generational wealth. And the Six of Cups is like offering a peace treaty. And Chris Albert, he was at the bar. And JFK straight up thinks he set John O'Keefe up that he worked really closely with everyone else to set John O'Keefe up. Like JFK, just for the kids, he's on YouTube as um, JFK Show Off, I think is the name. Microdots also did some videos on these guys. I think what I haven't done is Chris Albert. And that's really where, and I'd like to thank everyone for all of their help with the birthdays, finding the other side, that dismemberment. I saw a comment, we've been getting dismemberment every day. There was a comment by one of our lovely friends that perhaps it's their story is falling apart. I think what we need to do is look into Chris Albert, Julie Albert, okay, from what I remember, Brian Albert and I think Higgins, someone, two people, and I know one of them was Brian Albert, like disappeared to go look at pictures. Weird. For, I mean, if they were moms and they were looking at pictures of their kids, I would get that. That would make a lot more sense. And then someone said something else, like they went upstairs to look at these pictures. And then someone else said they went downstairs. Were Chris and Julie at this house? I mean, this is laying out who's there pretty much. And people got paid off. We know that people can't sleep. I mean, I don't know if they were there or not. Conceal, this is Chloe, her friend. New World Order. This is Outer Space. This is um, Ashley. Oh, this is Ashley at the Reckoning. I highly recommend it. Um, her deck is awesome. This was, I think either she got it or someone made a comment. This was John from Divine Intervention with this jurors. Like now we have a juror, allegedly. I mean, it is a real thing that they're afraid, but five jurors have come out. And I don't, I think the, I don't know if Auntie Gov's going to be making a ruling on this. And you know how 
I mean, we gave her, get her affairs in order, like, days before the jury came out. I don't think it would be a very good idea for her to take it. I think she should get as far away from it as possible and try to wash her hands of it. I don't know if she will, though. I heard there was a scheduling conflict. That's fine. Take the scheduling conflict and just go. It's kind of like the DA, Michael Morrissey. I would like literally slink away with my tail between my legs. Like, I don't want to add any more charges to my list. I mean, I don't know where these two were. I know Julie was saying that they were only at the bar for 10 minutes or something. And JFK straight up thinks that Chris Albert set this all up. What this is really just painting is like, who is there? <clears throat> Money exchanged hands. John was gonna get involved or John got involved. Chloe reminding us what happened. This card, I am not, I'm almost like a hundred. I don't know. I This is almost a, deal, a hill I'll die on. Uh, Colin Albert and Allie McCabe getting married. They, yeah, they're low vibration, I'd say so. It's optical illusion. Yeah, this is the um, tail light. It's an optical illusion. And even if you don't believe in science, I guess, like, I was going to say, then you could believe in physics, but physics, I feel like, is easier to explain. I mean, this is an avoidable man-made disaster. Here's a cybercrime. This is the house. Had that video. There's something there that the feds have that we don't know yet. It hasn't come out. And I think it's a video inside and outside home protection. Also, someone had a great question about the house being on the... Canton has one of the largest... I just lost the word. I'll post it for you guys. This is our... We're not allowed to say this word. Hmm. I should just leave this card out to do the speaking for me. It's what happens in rush hour. There's a lot of um, I guess what I need to do is look more into this Chris and Julie connection. I mean, what this is just basically telling us is what happened and who is there and who is involved. I can't remember if Chris and Julie were there at the house. And if someone already gave me Chris's birthday, I'll, I'm going to sort them by birthday so I can jot them down. But I mean, Julie Albert, it's just the same as everyone else's. The one thing that's like, I mean, this is the tower. This is the feds. Like, I mean, your world, as you know, it is over. I mean, that's what I got. It's, there's not that much different about them. I guess what I need to know more on is, and I can watch JFK's video about Chris Albert's movements that night. One thing I do remember him was making fun of Chris Albert for saying they came to the to the shop, like the pizza shop to get a slice. He's like, what is this? Like the Queens? No, well, they don't go to Canton to get slices or something. He made some comment about that. I mean, they're not sleeping. There was an overkill. There's an illusion. I guess in conclusion, it's the same as everyone else. The one thing that I can say about Nicole Albert, though, is like, she's over it. She doesn't really want to have that much to do with any of this. Julie Albert's like just as in as all of the rest of them. She's just laying out who's here. Secrets we're never going to find out. I guess if you want, I can go back. I can do an in conclusion. Did I just put all these here? Okay. So I guess in conclusion, she doesn't. She didn't bring that much to the table. In conclusion, we have 
Morrissey, Higgins, Benefer. We have their world as they know it is completely imploding. We have intuition. This could be in mistress card. We have secrets we're never going to find out. We have El Diablo. I mean, he goes without saying. He is not the prince of this world. He's like an addiction. I would say that I know everyone gets to call themselves an alcoholic. That's a self-diagnosing disease. But I would highly say that this perhaps is here for drinking. We have lovers. Someone might be stepping out in their marriage. That's not a huge part of the, any of this. Um, we have the Six of Cups. This is a happy home. And we also have generational wealth. This is um, formerly known as Prince Harry. Now he's like the Prince of Montecito. And this is like family wealth. I'm looking for Ed Ashley's cards to see if there's anything I need to bring in for those yet. We have two decisions involving money. When she's weighing the weight of two decisions, we have a page. Bring the message. We'll pay you off. Shut up. We have the knight bringing the pentacles. We have this knight bringing more alcohol. <laughs> what is this, white claw? We have sleepless nights. Everyone's seeing between the lines. We have an overkill card. And we have that little demon Colin. And from Ashley's cards, we have what happens during rush hour. Oh, and there was a comment. Hopefully I didn't mention it in this video. Someone said to look at the house with the steam tunnels. Genius. I'm going to do that tonight. We have a video, something of the internet, and we got home security video cameras on the inside and outside of 34 Fairview and the feds have them. This is man-made avoidable disaster. It's also an optical illusion. Yep, super low vibration. I think this marriage and wedding ceremony, I still think is Allie and Colin, but who knows? Outer space is John's divine intervention. New world order, they're trying to create a new world order based on a facade. And this is in the woods concealed. This is little Chloe. So in conclusion, Julie Albert didn't bring anything new to the table. If anyone has like specific questions, I'm gonna go watch JFK's. Well, I have stuff to do tonight, but before the next time I see you, I'll watch JFK's thing. Turtle Boy, JFK and Microdots are the only news. I don't really, I can't handle like any of the fake news, but if you have any questions about Julie specifically, she didn't bring anything to the table. We do need to do a deep dive on Chris and our beautiful, wonderful friend who's giving me all the birthdays. I'm going to look in a second when we get off this and check and see if you've already given me those birthdays. I'm sure you're on it. Thank you. And if anyone else has any questions or anything, let me know. Thanks for coming.